Hi, my name's Gaz the Mini Pain Punk and in this video we're going to be having a look at the Grand Alliance books for Warcry and also to say a big fat thank you to the hundred of you that have subscribed I'm going to be giving away some Warcry terrain. Now I know I'm not exactly hot off the press with these but as funds have allowed I've only just got my hands on them and I've got some opinions and a YouTube channel so who's going to stop me? So for those of you who aren't aware the Grand Alliance books for Warcry basically gives you all the rules for the Age of Sigmar Grand Alliances for use in Warcry so there's death, destruction, order and chaos and these books basically compile all the rules for each of those Grand Alliances kind of like they did in Tome of Champions last year except um, this is expanded um, and surprisingly um, actually expanded a lot more than I thought it would I generally thought this would be um, just a collection of the cards a few new missions and maybe a few more mercenaries for each faction to um, to hire but actually it changes things quite a lot um, the first thing is that pretty much from what I've seen of these two I've only got the death and destruction books right now um, but based on how similar these two are I, I, I have to imagine the other two play out in a very similar way um, every faction that I can see has got new fighters for their warband um, absolutely every single one um, and quite a lot more uh, so there's a load more option in building your warbands with this which is great um, the other thing is is there's a major change to the rules um, and that is the um, heroes and allies system um, and what that does is it basically completely replaces the mercenaries system from monsters and mercenaries um, basically it allows your warbands now to have more than one um, fighter with the leader room mark and basically you choose and that that number changes depending on what type of game you play in so in open and match play it's one hero or ally in narrative play it's three and in a campaign I believe it goes up with the more territory your warband has um, and so basically you pick one to be your actual leader and another one, other ones will be heroes or allies. Heroes are fighters with the leader room mark from your warband or if you take you can take any fighter with a leader room mark from any other warband in your Grand Alliance. Also all the fighters that used to be available as mercenaries are now um, available as fighters in your warband with the leader rune mark so these fall under that heroes and allies system um, plus a few more as well for, for each warband as far as I can see um, and the other major change which is one that I think has been a long time coming is um, each Grand Alliance now has um, their own um, they had monsters before, they've now got thralls, so for example um, the Death Grand Alliance they can have um, dire wolves, fell bats and bat swarms whereas the Chaos had always had the option to take the Raptrixes um, or the Furies so that kind of evens things out a little bit, it gives everyone a chance to get some beasties on their teams um, also not super important but if you like the um, little narrative tables they give you to come up with names and origins for your warbands there's one included in here for each of the the warbands in that Grand Alliance um, not massively important to the game but I do like these um, so more campaign challenges, fated quests and um, so more ways to challenge and fight the big monsters which is cool um, and an updated warband roster that updates with the um, 
heroes and allies stuff in here as well. Um, on the whole, I really like what's in these books, but I'll tell you why I'm not entirely happy. I'll show you why I'm not entirely happy. This is why I'm not entirely happy. So these are all the warband cards that you could buy for each of the factions. Um, these are nice to have in a game. It's nice to not have to flick through a book and have all your fighter cards laid out in front of you. Um, and also, I know from last year that you know, in last last year they reprinted pretty much all of these that had been released up to that point in the Tome of Champions book, um, and that's fine. I'm I'm cool with that. Um, these were still nice to use on the table, even though I had the rules in the book as well. The problem I've got now is now that every warband has more fighters in it. Um, despite me thinking that that's a really cool thing, these card sets are now incomplete. So, if I wanted to take some of the new units, then I could have the cards for the fighters, the old fighters on the table, but then I've still got to look through the book for the newer ones, and at that point, I may as well just be looking in the book. So... Yeah, probably regret that about as much as I regret buying the cards. I've made a huge mistake. So, should you buy these? Well, if you want to make use of the new fighters in your warband and a the cool new heroes and ally system, then unfortunately the answer is yes. Um, with regards to the things that I don't like about this um, I think, oh I missed some I think I'm done with the cards aspect of, of Warcry um, and I think the solution to that um, problem of, of having to flick through books mid game or awkwardly pin your book open on the table like this um, it's probably going to come down to the community to solve and, and, and it's, it's probably already out there which is a a warband roster that allows you to have your stats for each of your fighters on there. Um, now I know they made the decision to go with symbols instead of traditional stat lines. Um, they're pretty easily translatable though and um, I quite like the symbols but just having all the figures on a nice spreadsheet like we used to do back in the old days um, would make me happier. So yeah happy with the contents happy with the rules changes not happy that I spent all that money on these cards so as promised at the start of the video I'm going to be giving away this lovely Warcry terrain um, I had a short break while I reorganized the hobby space and just moved some stuff around to make it a little bit bigger and nicer to be in and um, during that break um, the channel hit 100 subscribers Whee! that's me raising the roof um, and I wanted to say thank you so all you have to do to enter this giveaway is be subscribed to the channel 100 of you already are so that's brilliant and just comment 100 on this video and I will do a draw to pick a winner at random in the next week and I will send you that Warcry terrain. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, we do have a Patreon from as little as one pound a month. Um, or if you want, if you look in the description down below, you'll see some affiliate links for loads of hobby supplies and stuff. Basically, if you buy your hobby supplies there, this channel gets a little teeny kickback, which just helps me keep the lights on and keep this thing going. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye!